Hi, I'm Benson Rice, and welcome to another video in the RSP Supply Education Series. Today we're talking about licensed versus unlicensed frequencies. In today's world, we all rely heavily on wireless technology for our daily lives, and frequencies are a key element in this communication. The radio spectrum is made up of frequencies of energy waves that can be broken down into vibrations per second, measured in hertz. The higher you move up the spectrum, the higher the number of vibrations per second, moving from kilohertz to megahertz to gigahertz. The radio spectrum is a limited resource, meaning there are only so many radio frequencies in existence, and too much activity on a specific radio frequency band would create interference. Therefore, the U.S. has assigned the FCC, or the Federal Communications Commission, to set rules to make sure that the spectrum is used effectively. This resulted in the radio spectrum being divided into licensed and unlicensed frequencies. Licensed frequencies are those that are owned by the government or private entities that have obtained permission to use them through a licensing process. These frequencies are regulated and managed by the FCC in the United States and similar organizations in other countries. The process to obtain a license can be complex and expensive, but it provides exclusive access to a specific frequency band, which ensures that the frequency is not overcrowded with too many users. In general, licensed frequencies are used for critical communications such as military, aviation, and emergency services. These frequencies are also used for commercial purposes such as cellular networks and radio and television broadcasting. Unlicensed frequencies such as those in the 900 MHz and 2.4 GHz bands are free to use without the need for a license from a regulatory body. This means that anyone can use them for any purpose as long as they do not interfere with other users' communication. Unlicensed frequencies are commonly used for Wi-Fi networks, Bluetooth, and other wireless devices that operate in the industrial, scientific, and medical ISM band. The ISM band is a set of frequencies designated by the FCC for use by industrial, scientific, and medical devices that do not require a license. Both licensed and unlicensed frequencies have their advantages and disadvantages. Licensed frequencies provide exclusive access to a specific frequency band, which ensures reliable and interference-free communication. However, the licensing process can be costly and time-consuming, and obtaining a license does not guarantee access to the frequency band in all locations. Unlicensed frequencies, on the other hand, are easily accessible and cost-effective. Anyone can use them, and they do not require any permission or licensing. However, because they are free to use, unlicensed frequencies can become overcrowded, leading to interference and decreased performance. In conclusion, understanding the differences between licensed and unlicensed frequencies is very important for choosing the right frequency for your needs. Licensed frequencies provide reliable and interference-free communication, but can be costly and time-consuming to obtain. Unlicensed frequencies, on the other hand, are easy to use and cost-effective, but can become overcrowded and suffer from interference. I hope this video has helped you better understand how licensed and unlicensed frequencies work and should not replace proper electrical instruction. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. I'm Benson Rice, and thanks for watching.